Oh no, do the chat, yeah? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. spoken word where Genesis 1 3 and God said and, and that's the pattern that we see amen, amen. praise God so so I just want to just make sure that we have those under our belt so that we can we can move forward um, so today I, I want to uh, just tap into more of a um, the nuances of of the gospel that Maybe it's not evident. So, so let me just kind of um, use this kind of just kind of wrap our mind around it so that we can have a, an understanding. When I said that yesterday, I said something that maybe some of you are just kind of not too sure that I said um, we are like gods. And, and that, that's, that's a very heavy statement, but sometimes we need something to kind of back it up. So I'm going to, I'm not going to, I mean, the scripture Elohim, you know, in the beginning God created the heaven. And from that I've used that reference so much that sometimes after you keep using it, it's not as sharp. You know, so I'm going to just go outside to kind of um, use, uh, if I could use the word reasoning, okay? And so you could follow it. So, so uh, number one, we're all familiar that at one point, we were born, right? Amen. <laughs> if you weren't born, you're not here. <laughs> and then at, at one point, we all experience death. Is that, is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. The, the challenge for us becomes what happens after death. So the question I present to you is what happens after death? What is it? Heaven or hell? So heaven or hell. So that's the only two options we have. Either we go here 
or we go there. Are you following me? Yeah. Okay. But my question becomes, from this point to here, how is it that we exist? Soul. Soul? Okay, let's just, I'll, I'll take your answer, soul. My question is, from death to this place, how is it that we exist? In the spirit here. Your spirit. So, if that's the case, then there is something from here to here. <coughs> because from the time you were born to the time you died, you existed here. So, so we think we only existed here, but the, at the point of death to here, there is something going on. So that means this is not the beginning because there is that. So for that to happen, you have to say there is something before this. Are you following me? Yes. So the question is, where is this? Heaven? There you go. Because if you say heaven, you make it sound like we're running around in heaven, but there's no, we don't have scriptural backing to give us that we're running around. But we have the scriptures that said we were in the mind of God. Were we running around in the mind of God? Yes. I don't know. But the fact is we were in the mind of God, so therefore we existed in the, 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 the breath of God somewhere there. That's why, so after this, it existed because of this. Following me? Yeah. So when we say you are gods, meaning to say you can never die. Amen. Now death, we, we are familiar with the definition of death that you, 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 you matai. <laughs> <laughs> but death in itself is basically a separation from. It doesn't mean you uh, you cease to exist. You just separate yourself from. So when you when you come here and you say you died, you separated yourself from this world, but now you enter into this world. Amen. So you cannot die. Amen. So if you cannot die, then the issue becomes heaven or hell, and then the, the, the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ becomes more pronounced because the fact that we can never die and we want them to go to the place that has air conditioning. <laughs> the one that the fire that never goes out, that's the one we're trying to convince them that that's not the best place to be. It's, it's to choose this one. And why? Because they are gods. And they will never die. No matter what that burning fire that comes on those who reject Jesus, they cannot die. Because they were in the mind of God. Amen? Amen. 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 So this, this basic layout it's just when you see someone, do you know Jesus? <laughs> do you want Jesus? You kind of want Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, so, so put that under your belt, and God will raise you guys up as an evangelist, flaming evangelist. There's a deep conviction, and then the Spirit of God comes on you, and then you move in the supernatural power of God. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. So that, that's oh, 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 my, my board here. Eddie, Eddie, come to the rescue. Get to take the new relationship with the Lord. That's right. <laughs> Good lessons. <laughs> Okay, 
So, so now I want to move on with something that that is going to reinforce the Holy Spirit. So, we've been sharing that when you declare repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, we're saying that you need to come into this culture of heaven, come into the principles of the kingdom of God, come and move in the reality of what Jesus brought. And when Jesus, when John the Baptist released that, it moved Jesus out of hiddenness to come and show how to move in the kingdom of God. Now, one of the things that you realize, the first thing that Jesus did when he came out of the water, he prayed that heaven opened and the Holy Spirit came down upon him. So I want to present a question. I thought Jesus was God. He was God. Yeah. He is God. He is God. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm setting you up. <laughs> Pastor Ruth. Sorry, I'll keep quiet. I'm setting you up. <laughs> so, if he's God, why does he need the Holy Spirit? Because what? He was a man at that time, so he did the power of the Holy Spirit. He did the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody read Philippians 2. He emptied himself of the earth or that to use of God and he gave just the same. Okay, so when if you say he emptied himself, what does that mean? Does that, that, does that mean he, ex he, he stopped existing as God? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He lost okay. his God and he didn't use his power as God. He lived his uh, God in heaven and then all the other he left, he left his own authorities, and then... He came as a man. He came as a man. Okay. So, he remained as God, but he... He as a man. But he, but he, he didn't use his authority. Okay. Okay. And the reason why he did that is because of what? Because he wanted to set examples for us. To know that we can be like him. to be like him. Ah, so he set himself up as an example so that we can be, we can do exactly what he did. So, he can't, he the so why are you guys having a hard time receiving the Holy Spirit? <laughs> why he emptied himself still fully God but he did not operate his authority as God so that the Holy Spirit would come and move and operate in the power of the Holy Spirit so that when we come in there is no reason why we're not able to there, just, just, there's no reason just we, we, we will be without excuse. We, we'll just, we'll try to say an excuse, but it just, it just, it won't, it won't work with God. Because he did it all for us so that we can follow the pattern. Amen? Amen. Amen. So therefore, the first thing that Jesus did was after he prayed and the heaven opened, the Holy Spirit came down on him. And right after that, the Holy Spirit moved him to do all the things because now he is the power of God 
resting on Jesus, the man. Amen. So, so remember, the only qualified person to operate on the earth is a man. If you are a demon, you are an illegal entity. Amen. And if you function only because the, the demon partnered with a human being mm -hmm. to execute here on earth. Are you following me? Yes. So they're able to function because they partnered. Mm -hmm. But the only legal person to operate on the earth is a human being. Mm -hmm. So if you partner with the kingdom of darkness, in a sense, you have the legal right to do that. Whether it's right or wrong, that, that's a different discussion. But you, you have the legal right to. But, but listen, but when Jesus came and took back the authority that Adam gave to Satan, so now the legal authority rests in the man, Jesus, who is called the son of man. Okay, Amen. kind of not just in yes. Not son of God, son of man sitting at the right hand of the Father. Why? Because he's the legal entity to rule and reign on the earth. Amen. So those who come into Christ, you tap into that authority to execute his kingdom because he's the king of kings and he's the Lord of, of lords. lords. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Up there, he's jumping out of his skin. <laughs> ah. So therefore, the first thing Jesus did, as I told you, open heaven, the Holy Spirit came down, because now, that now listen, Jesus never confronted the ruling spirit of the nation of Israel until the Holy Spirit came. Amen. So, so that, that thing should give us a heads up that if we're going to step into a confrontation with the ruling territorial spirits, you're going to have to have the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're going to have to power up. You're going to have to have the, the generator of, of heaven built within you. And, and, and Okay, so, so um, let, me, let me draw. I'm, I'm a very visual person. So, so this is this is us, okay. And then, and then, let's say this is this is big Jesus, and then this is the well, Holy Spirit. We cannot see, so it has to be kind of like like that. <laughs> okay. So listen. The reason why we need the word Jesus is because we need to speak the language of heaven. Amen. 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 And the reason why we need the Holy Spirit is because we need the breath of heaven. Amen. Okay? Because if you start using the, 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 the thoughts of this world, then you're, you are engaging this world. Okay? That which you speak is what you're speaking from. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's why, when you, that's why the most powerful words to use is the word of God. Amen. I mean, that's the word of God is the thoughts of God. Amen. So if you are if you are speaking the thoughts of God, the mind of God, then you are releasing what whatever God is thinking of. Amen. Amen. So, so in heaven, there is no death. Amen. So when you release prayer for the sick, you are bringing the culture of heaven onto earth. And you are telling death that it has no legal right and it must be removed from your premise, from your domain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And, and, and when, it's not trying, when it's not leaving, it's because somehow... Whatever it is is, 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 is resisting and it's saying that it has a legal right to remain. That's the only reason why. So you have to step into your authority 
and speak for it, that you have the legal right as a human being to execute judgment on whatever it is. Amen. And then when you release, when Jesus gave you his name to use, not just add, like, like you just compound this, this authority. First, you're just a man, and you just, because you're a man, it's, it's your right to say things on the face of the earth. Amen. Amen. And then the fact that Jesus now gives it to you, that, that adds that authority to release the mind of God. The authority to release the life of God that generates the very life in your community, in your nation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, so now there's, there's two, two things that I want you to be mindful of. When Jesus told his apostles to go to the nations, the thing that you have to understand about apostolic anointing, it has an ability to penetrate the culture. So when you think of apostolic, it's to penetrate into the culture. So you have the, the anointing to break through into the government. You have the, the anointing to break through into the education. You have the anointing to break through in the businesses to release the wisdom of God how to do kingdom business. Amen. Amen. That's the apostolic anointing. So, so usually it's kind of hard to find um, apostles in a church setting. And now let me explain why. Because the, the pattern of church is more of a temple mindset versus kingdom mindset. Amen. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. You just have to recognize. So most of the apostles are, are generally not found in a, a local church. They may be found in governmental areas and they, they walk with this anointing. Okay. And they may go and sit in, in a church setting just because they just love God, but their anointing is so heavy that they, they, they govern governments they, and they speak into governmental settings. Yeah. But God is, is bringing forth the apostolic understanding, releasing to the nations Amen. so that they can penetrate, Amen. have the ability to penetrate. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, the prophetic anointing is, is very similar, and those two work hand in hand, but there, the prophetic is the one that comes in, and then the very sense of the presence of God is elevated. Amen. The, 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 it, just, it just, it's like, you may feel flood on your shoulder, and you're trying to figure out what was that. <laughs> the possibility angels are in your Amen. midst. <laughs> because a prophetic a messenger is in your midst. And it just elevates the, 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 the hunger for God and an encounter for God. And, and just, it, it just, if that, that, that heaven just open and, and the presence of God is so heavy, and, and you're just like at all this thing that you've been hungry. So those are the two. To governmental offices that, that God is, is drawing out and, and bringing to the forefront. Uh, how many of you guys remember when, um, when uh, Daniel explained that uh, the statue for King Nebuchadnezzar, remember that huge statue, and, and, and the head was uh, gold and, and whatnot. And then there was a, a part where a hand pulled out the rock out of a mountain and struck the, the, the feet and that thing crumbled. And Daniel gave a, a, a meaning to that. And that, that, that kingdom of God is that rock that hit and that kingdom is gonna grow and grow and grow and, and, and it's gonna expand. So there's no end to that kingdom that God is establishing in a prophetic picture. Amen. So this kingdom of God is going to keep growing. Amen. I, 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 know, I know there's messages of, of uh, end time. Uh, and I know in the past, many of us are, are, are waiting because any moment now, we might, we might be on an airplane and all of a sudden, if, if, the, if the pilot is a Christian, he might just be 
it's just my vanity. <laughs> but but I, I want to encourage you um, that, that the way I look at that message is when my mom tells me to clean up my room, and as a child, I know how to work that time. So I, I know that my mom comes home at 5. And I can, I can whip through my room in, in one hour. So I'll go play until 4 o'clock and then run home and, and clean up this place. So when mom comes, it's, it's ready. So, so it's the same thing with Jesus saying, I'm coming back. Not, not, not that I'm going to leave you behind, but for us to get his kingdom prepared so when he showed up, the place is set. Amen? Amen. So if, you, if you've been playing around, that's fine. But... The time is getting short. <laughs> Start cleaning up the house. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do the kingdom work. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So now I come back. Now, Jesus the word. We are able to speak his word. Because we are speaking kingdom language. Amen. Amen. We are speaking kingdom thoughts. Yes. We are releasing the wisdom of God in, into the culture. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And early on, I said, you, you, have to, you have to be creative in your imaginations. That if the scripture says, the scriptures will not return back to God until it accomplished what it was sent to do, yeah. you, have to, you have to just kind of be creative and release the word and just imagine. Amen. What is the word of God doing? Amen. It's pounding whatever is hindering. And you just like, go for it. <laughs> release the word. Go for it. Yeah. And watch what the word of God will do. And it can, let me say this. It cannot go back to God Amen. until it is finished. It cannot go back to God until it's finished with its assignment. Amen. But we have to release the word of God of our situation. Amen. 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 So the word of God is releasing the thoughts of God. It's releasing the creativity of God into the situation. But the Spirit of God that comes is because whatever that is, is refusing to obey the Word of God, it is the power of God there to confront the things that does not want to let go. Amen. Because they feel like they have a legal right yes. to whatever that they're holding on to. Amen. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, and that's where you turn on. So, so listen. This is the Holy Spirit. That is with you. Okay? This is the well that is in you. Okay? It's as if... The Holy Spirit is covering you, but also you need to open up the well that is in you to speak out of you. Amen. Okay? So you may, you, may be, you may be clothed, you may be soaked in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And that's why, that's why there's a difference between the anointing, like, like me. When I come, the anointing is on me, and I move in my anointing, and you guys are blessed by it. But that's this. Okay. Are you following me? Yes. But when you leave, if you did not open up the wells within you, what happened is that after a while, the anointing wears off. And then whatever that is beating you up, then the voice gets louder and louder. Amen? You don't want that. You want, you want, it's almost like, it's almost like, the anointing is to push you into that, that, that place. But then, 
You have to go rabatere mo bo bo. You need to get that generator rolling with you because the anointing on you and the the truth that is coming out of you it, it's just powerful. It's just powerful. Amen. 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 So 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 it's good that this is what I'm doing. It's wonderful, but. You have to make sure you turn on the Holy Spirit that is within Amen. you. And you have to release the breath of God to come through you. Because you are releasing the sound of life. Amen. If you don't release the sound of life, you have to have the sound of life. Amen. Amen. You just have to. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because if you don't have the sound of life, you know, it's like you're, 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 you're well, you, you just have a different, you know. You need the sound of heaven. Let me say it that way. Amen. Yes. So if you have the sound of heaven, that means you're alive to the sound of heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And a lot of times people don't want to step into this tongue. It's because they're trying to figure this thing out. Yes. You try to figure God out. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so here's the thing that I want to encourage you. Okay. When we teach you the ways of God, it's not so much that you will gain understanding. Now, now hear me. When you hear a teaching, it's not so you could have a wealth of information. Okay. When you hear a teaching, it's so that you can respond to what it said and then the understanding opens Amen. up. Amen. Follow me? Yes. Okay. So, so when the teaching comes, the first thing people want to do is like, I need to understand. And because of that, the, 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 the release of that revelation shuts off. And then now you are playing mental game. There's no breath of God because now, now, now you switch. Remember I was doing the soul and the spirit? So now it becomes soulish power versus spirit power. Amen? Amen. So, you, so you're, you're, you're highly educated in the principles of the kingdom of God, but because that, that moment of revelation, you didn't step into it, it closes, and then you just have a mental, mental image. Amen? So, so when the word of God comes, you step into it, and then God releases the rebel. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So therefore, the, the, when I'm saying these things, is that when you have the word of God, you are speaking the thoughts of God. Yes. Amen. Okay? But when you, are, when you are praying in tongues, you are releasing the breath of life through you. Amen? Amen. And, but those two needs to co-partner. Why? Because the breath brings the breath of life, but the word brings the form Amen. to that. Amen. Amen? Yes. So, so you can pray tongues all day long. Amen. And you're energized. So, robo -topo. But if you don't release words, you're, you're, you're like a generator that is going 100 miles per hour, going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you have to release words to Amen. bring forth Amen. to that. Amen. So you can pray in tongues, and what happens is that God will start dropping imageries to you if you are a visual person. So, so, so a seer anointing, it tends to, tends to receive or, or, or translate what you see from God through imageries. Okay? But, a, but, a, but a, a prophetic person, in, like in a prophetic uh, 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 gifting, what you'll do is, well, it's, it's called the, the bubbling up from the wells, and he comes forward and he's going to speak uh, uh, words. Yes. So, so if someone is in front of you and he's releasing words, that's more of a prophetic person releasing the words. And then the seer, it tends to speak in imagery and, and what he sees and try to translate uh, physical occurrences. Mm. 
to, to bring the message from God. Amen. So I was in Saipan, and, and I, was, I, was, I was having a series, and, and I was spending time in my room, and, and there was a praying mantis appeared on my window. And I looked at the praying mantis, and I said, Lord, are you wanting to switch your lesson? <laughs> are we going to switch into prayer? I said, okay, Lord, I'm believing you're, you want to switch the message. So I went, and I started teaching on moving into intercessory prayer, and the Spirit of God came. Amen. Amen. Now, someone will look at me like, a great a praying mantis, like, it was a chance. I might go out and just dud, you know, like everybody fell asleep. But, because somehow it turned out to be God giving the message that he wants to talk on prayer. Amen. And then there was, a, there was a breath of God, there was, a, there was life in the message, and people grabbed hold of it, and it just took on into it. A great dimension. Amen? Amen. 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 So, so this too. Jesus. All of you walk under the open heaven. Because you guys grab hold of the message to repent. You grab hold of the message that you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Amen. Okay. But now, for you to walk in the power of the kingdom of God, you need the person of the Holy Spirit. And the fact that you told me, <laughs> I'm not trying to bring you, you told me that Jesus needed the Holy Spirit because he had to act as a man so that we won't have any excuses why we don't do it. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that means we have to have the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the reason why we have the Holy Spirit is not so you could pray in tongues. Trust me. It's more than tongues. But tongues is saying that the engine is running. Without you moving into tongues, I'm not sure whether there's an, a, a, a generator turned on in you. Because it's not so much as that you have a generator. It's because now you're moving into the assignment to take nations. Kingdom, yes. Amen. You are establishing God's kingdom, whether through a apostolic anointing to penetrate culture, or you have the prophetic anointing to bring down heaven, and there's a sensing of the presence of God in our midst. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Real we'll stuff. God will drop his anointing on us. Amen. Amen. So the person of the Holy Spirit is not so that we could, we could tell people that we, 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 we speak strange. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Holy Spirit is because we speak heavenly language. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So who, so, so who haven't received the Holy Spirit? Raise your hand. You haven't received the Holy oh, Spirit? Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> that one? Oh, praise I the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. How did you guys get saved? <laughs> Believing? Yeah. Accepting yeah. Jesus? Yes. So if that works, can we do this, use the same principle, yes, the Holy Spirit? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Did, did you guys hear that? Yes. Josie, can you stand up and give the instruction? Regarding receiving the Holy Spirit? Oh, no, like uh, first, uh, how do you accept Jesus? I believe in Him and I receive Him. And because of that, what happened? I became a Christian. Became a Christian. Born again. Born again. Yes. Okay. Born again and then I asked the question, can you use the same principle? Exactly the, whole? the same. Exactly the same? The same by believing. By believing. And receiving the Holy Spirit. Did you guys hear what he yes. said? Yes. Okay. Just accept. Just accept. Okay. So, so 
if you if you pray that you receive the Holy Spirit and you believe that, that you receive the Holy Spirit, right. then the Holy Spirit you have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. But how do you how do you how do you how do you turn on that generator in you? <laughs> You have to move your tongue. You have to move your tongue. Okay, you, you, you hear that? Yes. yes. Okay, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like, if I'm following her instruction, so it's like this. First you say, Jesus, thank you I received as my Savior, and I am now born again. So that you got saved. And use the same principle that he said, Holy Spirit, uh, you're a gift from the Father, and today I receive you. And now I have the Holy Spirit because you confess it, huh? Okay. But that, that's, now, now you have Him in you, but now you have to turn it on. And the way you turn it on, it's like, it's like uh, uh, you, you make the sound to go unlock. So you like use the sound, like, so watch me, like this. So you make the sound, it's like, Memoria Toro Record.